All right, so playing catch up on everything for the last couple of weeks. Uh, I got the incubator refilled with water, double checked the temps and everything like that. Uh, yesterday, like last night at like 7.30. And it's a good thing I did because as the tab says, da, 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 we have our first clutch of the year. Here is Mesa Verde. Now for long time viewers of the channel and forgive my voice, I... I'm 99% sure I got a cold from, like, one of the little kids at the Boise show. Because there were, like, thousands of people at that show. It was crazy. I'll have to talk about it in one of the solo podcasts. Um, but, so, for the longtime viewers of the channel, back in 2020, so almost four years ago. It's February. Um, got her. I got her at the uh, beginning of August. So, August of 2020. You know, COVID's raging. Um, all the other stuff. I was furloughed from my nine to five job, and for my birthday, um, my partner and my mom actually went to a local brick and mortar store um, and picked out this girl, Mesa Verde here, who is a bamboo yellow belly orange tree. Um, and then right after, you know, I broke my wrist and all that jazz, and I've talked about that in multiple videos. And I'll try to remember put a link for that one right here when we show off exactly when we got her. Um, but this girl is amazing. Um, for anybody who's talked to me, I love, 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 love the bamboo gene. And that's because I really like the spider gene, but don't really want to breed spiders. Um, so I'm trying to essentially make the equivalent of like a bumblebee and all the really cool, um, spider combos with bamboo plus a bunch of other really cool, uh, morphs and stuff to get the cool color in there. So... For this year, even though, yes, we did dramatically cut down the amount of pairings that we could do, essentially just focusing on projects that we either know what we're doing or trying to prove out. Um, basically, for the amount of boas, I cut the amount of boas by about a third um, and the amount of ball pythons by over half. So I think I only, I'm probably only going to get five, maybe six clutches of ball pythons this year, maybe versus like the 12 to 15 that I could have paired up um, because we're trying to really cut down on that. And so for this girl, Mesa Verde here, we actually paired up Carlsbad, our very nice, confirmed, proven Orange Dream boy. You know, he's not an Aussie Boyd's line. He's not a high intensity or whatever. He's just an Orange Dream that held that orange coloration longer than a lot of other just kind of regular Orange Dreams do. Um, and we've produced multiple uh, babies with him, including what could have been her first year, our super uh, orange stream girl, Moon. But again, we cut back on the amount of uh, the amount of pairings that we're doing. So next, this coming fall, we'll probably pair her up um, with something else to hopefully produce um, all orange stream something, 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 somethings. So hopefully, we can potentially get essentially, 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 essentially. Hopefully we can get super orange dream bamboo yellow bellies. That's the goal for this clutch. This is her first clutch, obviously. So let's see if she cooperates here. We can get her off. And then, oh yes. Oh, that's not the best clutch in the world, but it is her first time clutch. So one, two, three, four, and then a little boob egg. Um, sometimes the boob eggs do go full term. We'll see. We'll have to keep an eye on it. So, I mean... It's not like she's she's a, she's a younger. She's not necessarily a smaller female. She's like sixteen thousand grams empty. So we're just going to do this. Set that aside here. We'll put her back. And essentially, what we're going to do is we're going to just get um, kind of a washcloth and we're going to wipe her down. Then we're going to wipe that up, throw away, and replace some of that bedding so that way she kind of stops thinking and smelling like it's the eggs. Um, so she will stop sitting in the back and she can get back onto food. And then this is one-handed, so I apologize. Do 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 do. Aha! Okay, cool. So it looks like she probably they're the eggs. They're a little. They're not super super moist. So it looks like she probably laid these probably like eight thirty nine o'clock. So like right after I closed up the shop last night. So here we go. We got a nice little uh, perlite special going here. And then so clutch number one. Um, do, 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 I don't know why I wrote, um, PS on there. So this is the ball python clutch. Um, and then, so it's 24, A clutch. Here we go. Mesa Verde, Bamboo, Orange Dream, Yellow Belly, Carlsbad, Orange Dream, Laid, 3-3 three, three at the time of this recording. And then 
426. So we're gonna get these in the incubator. We're gonna take care of Mesa Verde and we'll continue on with what we're doing. And more than likely, we will hopefully have um, in this very coming soon, in the next couple weeks to months, we will have two or three more clutches, including pies. Um, hopefully this new little fun project that I'm working on, it looks like she's gravid. I don't think Colorado took, so maybe not any highways this year, but we'll see. Um, as well as I think, um, also for longtime viewers, I think Alpha's litter might have taken. I think the sun glow may have taken. So we might get some really cool boa babies this year, as well as um, potentially our uh, true red tail boas as well, because the Argentines are probably going to need another year or two to go. But we're going to get these eyes into the incubator. So hopefully you can look forward to some really cool stuff coming from this year, because what turned, what originally was going to be, uh, we don't really know how this year was going to be, honestly, with uh, how the reptile hobby is going, but we're doing pretty well with several uh, shows that we've gone to already and more to be coming soon, and potentially we'll be producing even more babies this year, uh, including new species. So stay tuned for more updates. Thank you all so much. Hope you're having a great day, and we'll check you next time.